the extra little bit of information is that there will be shields coming in the game, a brand new NFT. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Crypto Blades. We have some big news coming live from the stream that has just been done by Croge and Saria uh, on on Twitch, and they gave some early like announcements that aren't on Discord or anywhere else. So I thought I would update you on these as they're pretty big they're in regards to pvp and raids so let's get into it we've had some some little changes minor changes um recently there was a, a an exploit that i don't know if i don't know how it actually worked but apparently it was an xp exploit um which they had to shut it down to zero for everybody and then they offered double xp for a very small period between eight and um after 8 a.m. it was available for five hours. I did that. Did a 200 stamina battle. Lost it. That sucked. <laughs> it was like it wasn't like even a difficult one either. Just had a bad bad roll. Um, yeah. And so the there hasn't been any major game announcements since the last one, which obviously stated that we're going to be having raids, PvP, extra rewards, and defeating unlikely opponents. Mass burning weapons to dust, uh, mass reforge, mass forging we already have, private trades and character burning incentives. So, the extra little bit of information is that there will be shields coming in the game, a brand new NFT. And shields are going to be mainly used for PvP. So, they will, apparently the first three special acquisition, and then you'll be able to mint them. Um, they're not used in raids, they're specifically for PvP. And you will use them in a defense sequence. So your sword, an attacking sequence, and defending, you'll use your shield. Now here's how PvP will work. They gave a little bit of an explanation on how it would work in the game. You will both wager that you will win. Likely going to wager skill. So I might wager one skill that I am going to win. And somebody else might wager one skill as well. And... It will be done in phases. So every character enters the arena against players of the same level. So you're not going to be matched against... If you're a brand new to the game, you're not going to be matched against a level 51 player. Um, but that doesn't mean that you're, you're not going to be able to use ridiculous swords. So technically, I could start a new account with level 1s and have... Um, and have... My, my sword transferred, my five star sword transferred over to that character. So that, I think that will happen. Um, you only be face put opponents in your, your same bracket. Different powerful weapons, obviously different. Each character at level one will have exactly the same power, but it's your weapons that will make the difference. So in an attacking sequence, you will be assigned four random opponents. So it's not like you're facing 1v1. You'll get four opponents, just like you do in um, in the current system against the computer. You'll get assigned four types, and you'll be able to pick from one of those types which one that you will go against. Now, this doesn't mean that you're going to be facing only one of one type. It means you could get a random assortment. So you could be lucky and end up with you know your electric going up against a water type. And obviously, you can then have a chance it means that you're not gonna end up in that rough battle against electric type versus earth and you're gonna get screwed over it does give you that opportunity with the variety a little bit of luck is going to be involved obviously in that of, of that you need to get something that really got a type advantage over so you will attack but you will also be in one of those four random opponents for another player so somebody will attack you. You will use your shield to defend. But obviously somebody who chooses you is probably going to choose you based on type advantage. And so you're at a very dis you're at a disadvantage when you're defending and an advantage when you're attacking. They have said that, you know, this is that they're going to trial this out and see how it works. Um, the system makes sense in that you are going to be battling um, with that advantage and then a disadvantage. It's all about equipment though. That's going to make the big difference. 
And this, I think, will really encourage prices to go up on the marketplace. At the moment, they have come crashing down from where they were. So we had prices, you know, let's say a, a fully matched sword, a level four. Let's just say lightning for the sake of it. All lightning I sold for 15 skill. And that was when it was priced at about 120. So I made about over $1,500. 1,800 to be specific. Um, and and it was just, it was this weapon. I mean, mine was fully boosted up to 100 out of 100 LB. So if we go a bit further in the prices, there's so many on offer. The, the problem with the... Uh, the forging event where, well, the event where you were able to get an extra 50% is it probably just meant there were so many people forging weapons and it created quite a high amount of them. So when the quadruple reforge event was happening, I took advantage of this, spent a lot of my skill on putting into weapons because I saw it as a long-term investment that these would go up, they would be in demand, good quality swords are going to be the things that make the difference in PvP. Good stats are going to make the difference. Well-matched element types. All going to work to give you that advantage in PvP where when you're staking and other people are staking, you might come out on top. Um, the higher levels are probably going to be people who have better equipment, been playing since day one, and, you know, will have forged a lot of weapons will have been able to purchase potentially some really good ones on the market if we look on the market now is probably a good time to pick up a good weapon the the really high quality weapons are going for a fair bit now so you can get fully matched weapon types this one is awesome 27.49 skill which is really cheap compared to where it was as was the point was right as the price was rising I mean, it's still very expensive at $40, 10 400 around just less than $1,200. But as I say, I sold the sword four star, all matched for more than that. So maybe if we see those prices coming back, we'll see that that's going to make a, a difference. This type's it's going to set by that $659. Don't, don't buy that sword. So... PvPs, those individual differences in stats and LB are going to make all the difference in giving you that advantage in um, PvP when it comes live. So I, I would recommend save some skill for when the shields come live. So I imagine there'll be some kind of forging. They, I didn't really understand it where they said it would be first through special acquisition. I'm not really sure what that meant. Um, and they did say there would be some through minting. It might be that special acquisition is like in raids they're gonna have special acquisition in that you know it's a random drop. It'd be pretty cool if it was a random drop in just standard battles. It'd be a nice little element to add. But I think in terms of boosting the value of the coin, you're probably gonna see more value in it being something that you have to spend skill to purchase or have a um, a random a random a forge at. So on top of that, they did mention that it was going to be um, limited to once a minute at a time. So you are, when you attack, you can have a 10 plus 10 minus 10% 10 bonus to your power, just like in, in playing against computer. Um, but you'd only be able to, be able to battle and defend once a minute and then it would roll over. This just prevents people from being attacked like 500 times. Um, gaining or losing skill tokens as winning, depending on... Um, yeah, you gain, you'd obviously gain or lose a skill token depending on whether you win or not. 50% though would be going to the rewards pool, they've said. And there would be a payout for the top three players in a bracket when they level up their character level. So let's say everybody is level one and the person who's won the most, who's first, second, third for level one, 
they would be in the top where there's a reward pool. Now when they level up, I'd imagine then they take that reward pool with them. So the idea is that it's built to incentivize people to actually level up and stop people from, quote, um, smurfing, making sure people level up and enter new brackets and don't just stay in and dominate another bracket. Um, I, my mind, I'm thinking like, well, couldn't somebody just stay at level one and just keep at first place, wait until that reward pool is just even ridiculously, ridiculously high or forever just stay in it and then finally in two months time level up from level one to level two and take a huge reward. I'm not sure how they're going to prevent against that, but I'm sure they'll be thinking about it. Clearly, they've really thought this through. How to pull in PvP um, is not an easy thing. Now, um, they didn't talk too much about raids. Um, just kind of echoed the, 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 the Discord information that we already have in that there will be special equipment that you can acquire. They did say something about burning skill, um, which to raid, they talked about stamina and how you could raid with or without stamina. Um, it sounds like there's a lot of, there's, there's not a set and a firm idea of how raiding is going to work. Um, but yeah, it was really good to hear mainly about the PvP. And so hopefully some of that information is, is, is stuff that you won't have heard about. And it just prepares you, make sure you get ahead of that coming out, where I do predict that we'll see a surge in prices on the NFT market for good equipment. Um, if we do see, like when dust comes in, I'm not, I would recommend not reforging yet. This is why I'm, I'm keeping this here um, at 3LB, just because there's no bonus to it. But I think maybe when they bring in the, the, um, the concept of dust, the they might have a special dust event, like a reforge with dust event two times two. Definitely wait it out. Um, they've had them in the past, so I don't see why they wouldn't have one in the future to incentivize using it. Um, okay, well, that is all for this episode. Hopefully, you found that interesting. If you have, please leave a like on the video. It always helps the channel out. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. I will do my best to keep you up to date with any news in CryptoBlades and other cryptocurrency games. That's all for me. See you guys soon.